Hello. This video will show you how you can build, test, deploy, and publish a bot to Facebook Messenger using Gupshup.io. Log into Gupshup.io using your GitHub account. Click on My Bots to create a bot. Gupshup.io has a tool called the Bot Builder that helps you create a bot in a jiffy. The Bot Builder includes a simple code editor, a publishing mechanism, and a diagnostics program amongst other features that significantly simplifies the process of building a chat bot. The Bot Builder also provides a single-click secure server deployment for your chat bot, eliminating the need for your own server. You can also test out the conversational aspects of your chatbot using the built-in emulator given in the Bot Builder. There are multiple benefits to using the Bot Builder tool. It is definitely more efficient and time-saving, since a lot of the grunt work involved in creating a functional chatbot is automated. The Bot Builder also reduces development time, since it gives you the option of instant testing and deployment. Let's now create a simple chat box using the Bot Builder. There are a few methods given to a user when a new bot is created. The message handler is the method that executes when your bot is communicated with. It has two parameters, context and event. You can parse what message was sent to your bot using event message. Your bot can then reply using the context send response property. Let us reply to a message that says hi with hello. Test your code using the built-in emulator. Now reply to hello with a message that includes the user's name. Hit the deploy button to deploy your bot. Now test this bot on Facebook Messenger by using the Gupshup Proxy Bot. A proxy bot is a bot created by Gupshup that will mirror the bot you have created. We have created proxy bots on various messaging platforms for your testing purposes. Type proxy followed by your bot name to invoke the bot you have just created. Type hi and hello to test out your bot. Here, let's build a simple bot that asks the user which publication they prefer, and then use the publication's RSS feed to display a headline and link to the day's top story. Right now, though, the created bot is stateless. The Bot Builder offers data persistence so that you can store bot and user preference to enhance the usability of your chatbot. There are two variables that you can use for data persistence, bot-level data and room-level data. Bot level data is the global data for a bot across all messaging channels and users. This data is accessible to the bot for all the conversations with all the users from different messaging channels. Room level data corresponds to the user level data for a conversation between a bot and a user on each messaging channel. Here let's use room level data to store the user's preference.
Now most bots will need to make HTTP calls to send and receive data. The Bot Builder offers methods to make the handle HTTP calls. The Make Get property makes an HTTP GET call to any URL. A response to the Make Get call is handled by the HTTP Response Handler method. Here, let's use the JSON version of the publication's RSS feed. Here let's parse the JSON to display to the user a single headline and a link to the story. Now publish your bot to Facebook Messenger using the Bot Builder's Publish functionality. First, create a Facebook app. The Facebook app can remain in sandbox mode. Add Messenger to your Facebook app and then go to Webhooks section and set up your callback URL and verify token. The callback URL and verify token can be found in our documentation. Create a Facebook page for your app. The page does not have to be publicly visible.
Go to the Token Generation section and select the Facebook page you have just created. A page access token will be generated for you. Copy the page access token and your page ID along with a welcome message and hit submit to get your bot published on Facebook Messenger. Gupshup is the easiest and quickest way to build bots across any messaging channel. Build, test, and deploy a bot in minutes.